Hello everybody, welcome to Beer Reviews, with me your host Jack, and tonight here in Chicago we are going to crack into a beer from uh, Mars Brewing Company. Uh, this one particularly is Jungle Boogie, Doodle Doodle, which is a rooibos, uh, pale ale infu uh, rooibos tea infused pale ale, I should say. Um, there's that little logo on the back, the Mars symbol and stuff. Uh, as it says on the top, hand brewed in Chicago in an area called Bridgeport. Um, this is kind of the brewery uh, that is connected with Maria's Packaged Goods and Community Store, which is kind of a legendary little beer bar down in Bridgeport. It's a bit of a random area. It's not very well known for uh, kind of funky hipster vibe places until the uh, Mazuski brothers, Ed and uh, Mike, kind of started setting up the Marie's Packaged Goods and then also the brewery and soon uh, what will be a Polish and Korean fusion restaurant, which sounds fantastic in my books because of their parentage. Oh, by the mic, um, I believe the parents are like one's Korean and one's Polish, so that's a really cool melange, and it's hopefully going to be a really cool restaurant. It sounds cool, uh, so Chicago people check that out when it comes around. I'm, I'm sure you already know about Mars and uh, Maria's already, but um, as is the kind of case about the entire time we've been here in Chicago, everyone's been super, super friendly to us and has been really receptive of who we are and uh, me as a brewer, I suppose, and they've kind of chucked us stuff, which is really nice. So he was he was mad keen on me trying, uh, Mike, I should say, was mad keen on me trying the Jungle Boogie and would like to hear some kind of opinions on it. Like, nine, the clock's in a nice five and a half percent, but also um, gave me one of the far more experimental ones uh, on Gratis as well, which is called Nasal Cavity, which is a golden milk stout uh, with wasabi roots and vanilla beans, which sounds crazy as well. That's also five and a half percent, but I'll, I'll take that one home and hopefully share that with some friends and get some better kind of opinions on that one because it will be interesting, but I'm sure it'll be good. I'm sure it'll be good. So without further ado, let's crack open this little jungle boogie. Um, one of my friends here that I made in Chicago called uh, Jose said this, I mean he, he recommended this as well, so I'm really looking forward to it. I know he's got a good palate and he likes good stuff, so we'll see what we have. For those of you not in the know, rooibos is a type of tea from mainly from kind of like Southern Africa, South Africa, um, and it's like a, um, it's a caffeine-free tea leaf that, that has this really vanilla -y sort of flavour to it, and a, a characteristic red hue, which is not too dissimilar to what is in the glass currently. A nice kind of deep copper, almost browny, but with a kind of tinge of ruby colour to it. It looks kind of like a glass of robust tea, with a nice little fluffy white head on the top of it as well. Um, looking apart, crystal clear, which is nice to see, although haze doesn't mean anything to me much, but let's get into those in there and give it a good old smell. Ooh, there are some nice malty notes in there though, having said that. Oh, peachy as well. There's like a big hit of kind of malty caramel and bready notes. But there's this like peachy juiciness over the top of it all. And I suppose that's the robust tea. Um, I guess there's a hint of vanilla underneath it, but particularly it's like a juicy peach character to it. It smells very fruity, but again, like I say, it's, it smells like there's some good supporting malt character in there as well. Like a good, well-balanced pale ale, but this nice little tweak on it definitely has some good aroma. Wow. Hey, let's try it a bit. Cheers, everyone. That peachy flavour carries on into the palate as well. It's really juicy peach, you know, but there's definitely more of the robust vanilla kind of flavour coming through. A little bit of kind of the tea tannin as well. It dries up quite nicely towards the back of the palate, but it starts off with this nice caramel malt, a bit of toffee going on. Then you get that nice peachy flavour. You get some of the vanilla as well. But it's just easily crushable and really drinkable sort of beer. Nice carbonation to it as well. It's kind of light on the body, but I don't particularly mind because I know this is kind of like designed to be that sort of easy drinking but very tasty, very flavoursome beer and it ticks the boxes. Yeah, it tastes a robust tea in the kind of best possible way but still tastes like a pale ale. I like to think there's some kind of level of hoppiness to it as well. Particularly perhaps enhancing those kind of peachy tones, something like a classic West Coast hops with kind of grapefruity characters coming through that citrusy note. Um, but it's a really good drinking beer, very impressive and um, hopefully we'll get a chance to try this on draft. I'd love to try it on cake and see what it's like there as well. So please like, favorite, comment and subscribe. Remember to go and check out if you are in Chicago um, these guys as well because they're not only awesome dudes but they've got cool ideas and they're artists as well. I forgot to mention that earlier on. That's probably a bad thing I should say. All the artwork I guess is done by uh, the boys as well. They're, they're like a load of community based art projects and uh, brewery is also community based. I believe it's called Mars Community Brewing. Um, so they're really cool guys with good ideas. It's well worth checking out. Uh, as I say, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Until the next bear review, cheers.